helpful. Um, Fedora is a global project and I'm glad to see us all come together here. Um, this is the first time we're doing a release party on Matrix. So uh, thank you, Justin, for putting all that together. Um, nice Fedora mug there, good, good. Brand. I'm also branded here. I just need to stand up to show it off. Uh, but yeah, um, here we are. Uh, we're not getting restream IO uh, messages from the audience, are we, Justin? No, I we're, we're talking to nobody. Um, I have to look over in the over in this window. Are we? Uh -oh. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. Cool. Yes. Hi, everyone. <laughs> now I see the chat. I just had to set it up right. Um, yeah. So uh, Fedora Linux 40 is a great release. Thank you, everyone who worked on it. And uh, welcome everyone who's just kind of curious or wants to celebrate and is, you know, uh, feels more like a Fedora user than contributor. This party is for everyone. I hope you um, kind of get to hang out, see what we're all about, and, you know, kind of uh, celebrate the energy that is Fedora. Um, yeah, uh, I am Matthew Miller, the Fedora project leader. Did I say that already? I don't know. It's it's early. Yeah, um, go ahead. We also have, oh, should we go do the introductions here? Oh, what, what, yeah. What do you want to do, Justin? Let's go for it. I thought, um, do you want to read off? There, there were some interesting things I thought just to uh, call out before we get started. Do you want to, do you want you to go ahead and do that or do you want to kick us off? Uh, go ahead. Yeah, so we will get started with the release party here shortly. But before we do that, I wanted to call out some highlights. Uh, you know, like Matthew said, these release parties are an opportunity to celebrate the work of our contributor community over the last six months and to recognize all the people behind all this hard work. Uh, so just to give you some uh, facts at a, at, a, at a glance, Fedora Linux 40 included 53 accepted changes, 28 of which were system-wide and 25 of which were self-contained. And Fedora of Linux 40 will be, what's that? Of course, there's thousands, tens of thousands of changes that come in you know, from upstreams that don't even get called out as a major Fedora Linux change as well. So there's a lot of work. For sure. Sorry, and, keep going. You were doing yeah, and then Fedora Linux 40 will also be the branching point for CentOS Stream 10, which will be a starting point for future downstream enterprise Linux releases. Uh, and also, like Matthew said, this is the first time that we're holding the vir the global virtual release party using a free and open source software event platform. So this is our first time using Matrix for our main stage and event chat, as well as the live stream on YouTube. So uh, do bear with us if we have some uh, hiccups along the way as we go, but in general, though, I'm really excited that we are using uh, a fully, well, moving mostly Fox stack, more than it was before, and then what we had in common. Well, I will turn it back over to you, Matthew. Okay. Um, yeah. So, so welcome. Um, let's introduce ourselves here. Um, as I said, uh, I am Matthew Miller. I am the Fedora project leader, and I've been the Fedora project leader for 10 years. If you compare this picture, um, you will see that there's some more gray in my beard and a little in my hair here now. Um, and that shirt is getting pretty worn out. So, Justin, we need our 20 years shirts. Um, let's, let's get to it. Um, but, yeah. Um, and I, I hope. You all know me. If you don't, um, I am Matt DM on pretty much all of the things that I can get that name on, and I'm happy to talk to you about Fedora or any other of a number of nerdy things. Aoife, you're next. Uh, yes, and I see that the banner that was right over my face, which I was actually kind of delighted about because I was like, thank God. <laughs> I can make faces to my heart's content and nobody can see, has now been moved. Uh, but yeah, hi everybody. Uh, firstly, to echo Justin and Matthew's comments, a huge congratulations to everybody who participated and contributed to the fantastic Fedora Linux 40 release. Obviously could not have done that without you. And that is a very genuine and real statement to make. So thank you. Oh. Um, we should I, also um, applaud the on-time release. Thank you, yeah. Aoife, for helping that happen. I just watched the clock, the, the boots <laughs> on the ground did work. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, uh, just so in case anybody has not met me before, my name is Aoife. That is how you say it. That is not how it looks spelled. Uh, say it backwards, drop the middle few letters. 
perfectly fine. But I answer to most things anyway. So <laughs> um, I'm from Ireland, which explains the, the little accent. No swearing though today, not yet anyway. And I am the Fedora Operations Architect. Um, I do some of the program management that my stellar predecessor, Ben Cotton, did. And he trained me in on all of the magic Fedora ways. So hopefully I'll do him and the project justice. And I'm very happy to be here. And Justin. Hey, folks. Uh, my name is Justin. Uh, many of you probably see me all around in Matrix rooms all the time and in the in the Fedoraverse. Um, I'm the community architect for the Fedora project. Uh, I've been involved in the Fedora community since 2015. So going on, is that like nine years now? And I've been in, uh, been the community architect at Red Hat since October 2022. You can find me as jflory7 is my fast username. Uh, but a lot of times you'll see me just as JWF out in the uh, the channels or other other spaces too. Uh, and I'm super excited as well to welcome and have everyone here today too. So with that, let's go ahead and get to some uh, the important things first. Matthew? Uh, important things. Yes. Okay. Code of conduct is indeed a very important thing. Um, this is, you know, basically... Um, the, the spirit of this is be excellent to each other. And there's some details of, you know, what that means exactly so that we are not confused and arguing about that. Um, this is a Fedora space and in all Fedora spaces, we expect uh, everyone to treat each other with respect. If uh, you see an issue, uh, please tell us. There's a tracker for filing some things that are severe or if you just want to um, tell me or Justin or Aoife or uh, any, anyone else in Fedora leadership um, about a problem, we'll make sure that a ticket gets filed and that the incident gets tracked and handled. Uh, hopefully there won't be any such things, but uh, it is there to help keep our community safe. Uh, yes, claim your badge for joining the party. Badges.fedoraproject.org, our gamification thing. Um, I don't know, can I scan the QR code? We'll, we'll see if it works for me here. I did live test this yesterday, so we should be good. I'm extra live testing it now. <laughs> to be fair, Sandro and I live tested a hell of a lot of badges at the start of this week. So. <laughs> yes, good job with the elections. <laughs> OK, it said 400 bad requests, which I believe is the standard response for, yes, I have ordered you this badge. Uh, the badges software could use your help, by the way, if you're uh, interested in doing some contribution to uh, Fedora uh, community infrastructure stuff. It's written in Python, um, and we've got some people working on it, but um, there's a lot more that could be done. Um, it's kind of neat to have this uh, kind of fun gamification and great art for all of our different things. So yeah, good place to come help out. I'm not joking about the 400 error. If you see that, it probably did actually work. Um, but uh, don't, don't worry. You can go back to the badges front page and see that you've gotten it. The schedule. Uh, also, QR codes. I won't scan this one, but it goes to the wiki page, which shows all the exciting things coming up. It uh, does, and we have a wonderful schedule. And I'm pasting it into the chat before anybody has a minor heart attack on it. Nice. Uh, visit it. We have a wonderful schedule. And um, it is jam-packed with all of the great things that have gone into the Fedora Linux 40 release. Not all, but a lot. Um, but we also have some excellent uh, talks from other distributions that are based from Fedora as well, joining us in the, over the next two days. So really can't wait to hear from all of those. We have some updates from our Mentor Projects Initiative. We have updates on the Week of Diversity. We have updates on a certain Git board. Um, so it, we do have wonderful two days ahead of us, and I'm looking forward to hearing all of the excellent talks, uh, playing some code game, code names tomorrow. So do stick around, and I'm sure the talks will be available post party to them as well. I find bad game that can get teeth. And of course, our events would not be possible without the amazing group of volunteers who help make them possible. So there's a lot of things that, that we do to help organize it, but Fedora is a, is a large community. We have people with all kinds of skills and backgrounds that are helping out. So I just want to give a shout out 
to all of these. Uh, you know, this is actually one of my favorite parts of the release party where we can let the credit credit reel roll. So again, a special thanks to these amazing contributors who all played a role in delivering this weekend of content and programming. A lot of work goes in behind the scenes to make it all possible. So I'll just say thanks to our content and promotion team, uh, Consolation, Joseph, and Richard uh, with the magazine. On the event production side, a uh, special thanks to Adrian and Neil, who helped on some of the Matrix, helping out with some of the Matrix platform and Pretix platform pieces. Uh, on the design and badges side, a special thanks to Emma, Nikita, Roland, and Sandro uh, for helping do some of the nice graphics and the Matrix room icon and uh, the badge that many of you have probably already claimed. And of course, uh, on speaker management, a big thanks to Aoife as well. So there are also opportunities to get involved with being a party planner too. Uh, you can join us and be a part of the team for the Fedora Linux 41 release party, if that is something uh, you are interested in. Actually, I have these slides in the wrong order because actually this slide is the one that's supposed to follow. Um, so if organizing parties sound like your kind of open source contribution, then come and help us get started for next time. October is not that far away and there are all kinds of things to help with. And as you saw on the previous slide, there are four main ways of being a party contributor. So if any of those are interesting to you, let's get in touch. Uh, our planning happens through a GitLab issue tracker. So this QR code will take you to the planning issue that already exists for Fedora Linux 41 release party. So if you want to be a part, leave a comment and tell us which of the volunteer areas is interesting to you and what you'd like to help out with. Uh, but now I'm going to go back and also say thanks to our chat moderators. Um, so all the folks that you will see, uh, if you need help in the Matrix Room chat, these are all folks who are there and can help out. Uh, if you need help with something in the chat or something's not working, you can also ping some of these folks to help out when, say there's like, like when, when me, Matthew, and Aoife are all up here too, and I, I don't have my, I have it full screen, so I don't see the chat right now. But thanks again to all these volunteers and folks who have stepped up to also help us as chat moderators this year too. So uh, also on the topic of socials, uh, Aoife already hinted about uh, the code name social, but our release parties have traditionally had fun and exciting social activities. And since we've switched to Matrix for the first time, we didn't quite get everything figured out yet, but we do plan to offer some social programming to relax and have fun with other Fedora contributors. So for this release party, we are gonna be playing a code names showdown on Saturday at 1500 UTC or 3 p.m. UTC. Uh, you can find the US Eastern time conversion on the Fedora Wiki page schedule. Uh, but Codenames is a competitive puzzle word game that requires creativity and good teamwork to beat the other team. Participation is going to require you to at least use a microphone, but preferably you can come on camera too. Uh, we'll share more information in the Matrix event chat about how to join the activity on Saturday before the start time. Space is limited on a first come first available basis, but like I said, uh, this is our trial run with Matrix, and if things go really well this time, I hope that we can grow and expand some of our social activities for Fedora Linux 41. So getting into some of our uh, news and announcements for this release, I wanted to first take a moment to celebrate our cohort of 2024 interns who you will see working across the Fedora project uh, throughout the next few months. Uh, so mo many of these are coming through the Outreachy program, which is an internship program for underrepresented uh, folks who face uh, adversity in their wherever wherever they live. It's a global internship program open to people all over the world, uh, and we have been a we have been a participating member of this since it was the GNOME program for women, almost more than ten years ago, I believe. Now, uh, so Fedora has been doing this for quite some time. I don't know if I heard someone wanting to add something there or not. Um, but if not, Outreach is a great program. I'm super excited to have some, uh, uh, we, have, we have three interns uh, this, well, for Northern Hemisphere, I think, this summer, or just the next three months, who will be working with us, as well as one intern who's coming to us from the Red Hat intern program and is going to be based out of uh, Boston with the, uh, with the Red Hat office. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome our cohort of interns, uh, as well as give a brief introduction about them. Uh, Adrian is... Uh, going to be a community architect working with, with me over the summer. Uh, 
Uh, he's going to be based out of Boston and read a little bit more about him. He's a stu master's student in upstate New York studying computer science and minoring in free and open source software. He enjoys programming and building solutions to solve program problems for people and otherwise use open source to make the world a better place. In his spare time, he enjoys rowing and has recently been trying to bring a little more open source to the sport. We also have uh, Rosalyn, who's going to be joining us from Nigeria this summer. Uh, she'll be working with me and Joseph Gayoso as well. Uh, Rosalyn is a technical writer based in Nigeria. She loves sharing her knowledge through technical articles and is passionate about cloud native technologies. And she's also a community builder and an open source contributor. We also will have Tosin, who will be joining us also from Nigeria. She is a product manager who is curious about life and most aspects of the tech space. Uh, she loves cooking, singing, eating, and watching movies and is always looking for new challenges. And she will be working with me and Joseph as well. And our uh, last intern in the cohort is Mehmet. He'll be joining us from Turkey, and he'll be working with Aurelian and Akashdeep over the summer to on their project to create a gateway from webhooks to Fedora messaging. So please give a uh, virtual round of applause to all of our interns. And as you are uh, across Fedora over the next few months, you might start to see more of these faces pop up across the project. So do be uh, give them a warm Fedora welcome as you see them. And uh, I'm really excited to have these four awesome interns working with us in Fedora this summer. Well, Northern Hemisphere cool. summer. <laughs> so you get what I mean. Uh, going to keep going with a few more introductions. I want to also welcome, we've had some, since our last release, we've had some new community initiatives uh, pop up in the community. So in Fedora, we have these cool things that are called community initiatives, and this is how we describe them in our documentation. Want to do something big? Have an idea that won't fit in a single release cycle? Perhaps an improvement broader than the technical scope covered by the changes policy? Want to make sure the community is aligned behind your goal and that you have the resources and access you need to make it happen? A community initiative may be the framework for you. So these are good opportunities to get real focused work done in Fedora. Again, reading straight from our documentation here, Fedora community initiatives, which some of you old timers may remember them as objectives before, uh, are projects which do not fall neatly into our biannual Fedora Linux release cycle. Typically, they require longer to complete. This is usually 8 to 18 months, and they are not limited to engineering projects. Other key areas are administ administration, documentation, outreach, motivation, communications, budgets, and best practices. Within the project, these are grouped under a heading of, well, these kinds of contributions are things we group under what we call Mindshare. And the council looks to achieve a balance between engineering projects and those aligned with Mindshare. So in order to accomplish an initiative, someone has to take the lead. Again, reading from our docs, each community initiative has a designated community initiative lead. This lead sits on the council for the duration of the initiative and is responsible for coordinating efforts to reach the community initiative's goals, as well as evaluating and reporting on progress. The initiative lead works regularly with all relevant groups in Fedora to ensure that progress is made. So now that we have that background set, since our last release of Fedora, there are three new initiatives that were approved by the Fedora Council. A Fit Mentored Projects 2024 initiative, a Community Operations 2024 Reboot initiative, and very recently, as in this week recently, uh, a Fedora Boot C or Bootable Containers initiative. So let's get to know who the leads are of these initiatives, because odds are you may cross paths with them in the contributor community as they work to accomplish their initiatives over the next uh, eight to 18 months. So we'll start off with the Mentored Projects Initiative. Uh, Smira Goel will be a co-lead uh, together with Fernando, who we'll introduce in a minute here. Smira is a former outreachy intern and mentor with Fedora, contributing since 2020. She currently works as a UX UI designer at Quonsite Labs, focusing on accessibility design. Uh, together with Smira is uh, Fernando Mancera. Uh, Fernando is a software engineer at Red Hat, working on Linux networking, and he is currently co-leading the Mentored Projects Initiative with Smira. So this is looking at, just as we just introduced all of our interns, looking at uh, our Mentored Projects programs as an offering and trying to think about how we can make the experience uh, as best as possible, both for people who are going through our program, but also for mentors, really trying to encourage and support our mentors 
in running mentored projects through these programs. This is the first concrete step in one of our important uh, strategy 2028 20, goals, uh, which is to really increase mentorship throughout the whole project. This is the uh, first footsteps there towards that. Yes, I'm I'm super biased for that one because I I love I love the the focus on the mentoring and mentorship and our we do a pretty good job with our our mentored projects programs but I'm excited that we can help make them even better. Uh, our second initiative, which is the Community Operations 2.0 or 2024 reboot, uh, actually I I'm I guess I I should also I, I'm co-leading this one with Robert as well. We are um, splitting the uh, co-initiative co-lead on this initiative. Robert is a community contributor who comes from professionally a data governance and business intelligence background. As part of the ComOps initiative, Robert's partnering with the team to put a focused lens on all things data to support our community. And Robert is based out of Portland in the United States, so way out west. Oh, I don't know, this might be a little early time for all of our West Coast friends. Um, but I'm excited about this one because the ComOps initiative takes kind of two pieces, looking at a community experience or kind of the, uh, process improvement view, as well as a data analytics and uh, discovery half. So these are kind of the two main uh, branches of the team. And the, the goal for the initiative is to help support that structure and launch it over the next, uh, by the end of the year. And lastly, our brand new initiative that just got approved this week on bootable containers uh, is coming from Jason Brooks, who will be the lead for this initiative. Jason is a manager within Red Hat's open source program office, responsible for its community architect and community infrastructure teams. Prior to joining Red Hat in 2012, he was a technology journalist with a focus on operating systems, virtualization, and open source software. He has been a Fedora user since Fedora Core 1. Uh, so this is definitely one that's been getting a lot of like attention recently uh, in the last few months around bootable containers. Um, there's been some changes around, I believe, the IoT edition most recently, probably some other yeah. things too. I don't know if you want, yeah. you want to speak to this one a bit, Matthew? Yeah, uh, so bootable containers is basically the next generation of RPM OS tree, which is the technology underneath uh, Silverblue, uh, CoreOS, the IoT edition, um, and some other things. And this also is aligned with our strategic goal where we really want that kind of uh, image-based provision system to be the best thing for most people using Fedora. So this is a step towards getting us there. Um, and actually we've got some uh, kind of related talks about this. Um, our, our friends at the Universal Blue project right um, at bluefin have been using doing something kind of similar to this uh, kind of leading the way and it's all very nicely connected um, so i'm really excited about this i think it's the future and i'm glad to see us leading the way in fedora yes and you will get to hear more about universal blue in i believe tomorrow i think is we have a talk scheduled on that from noel so we're we're getting close to the end of our slot here so we're going to rush through a few announcements uh, I think, uh, Aoife, do you want to talk a little bit about this one? No, because I'm burned <laughs> from Monday, but <laughs> it is still kind of important. So our, um, we have some elections on, in case you didn't know. Uh, we also have an elections badge. If you can get your hands on it, best of luck. Uh, the link is in the chat room. You have until May 30th to cast your votes for the Ethel Steering Committee, for Fedor Council, for... Uh, Fesco and congratulations to Mantro, you are elected as the Mindshare Committee member, but still feel free to vote for him anyway, who doesn't like a vote? Um, so that's, you have till next Thursday, folks, please do get voting. Uh, you can try your best to also claim this badge and I wish you every success in that endeavor. Don't at me if you can't, we've gone through all the problems. <laughs> Matthew, you want to talk about the Slimbook discount? Uh, um, yeah, this is a cool laptop company in Spain that makes a really beautiful laptop that has Fedora, you know, Fedora Linux pre-installed and the logo engraved, laser etched on it. Um, they've got several different models and they have a discount for Fedora contributors, which you can learn about at this link. I suppose I have not live tested where it actually goes, but should tell you more. Um, this should take you to the community blog article explaining the okay. discount and how to how to claim it. But also, yeah, if you're going to be at DevConf CZ, uh, we hope to have a uh, demo laptop for you to check out as well. 
I can talk a little about this one. Uh, so next month in June, uh, the Fedora DEI team is organizing the eighth edition of its annual event to celebrate stories of Fedora contributors from all over the world. Fedora Week of Diversity is our annual tradition to tell these stories and share experiences about what it means to be a Fedora contributor. As part of that annual tradition, the team is looking to hear directly from contributors and Fedora fans around the world. So record a short video and share it with our DEI team to feature in a new promotional video that showcases what it means to be a part of the Fedora community. The deadline does close soon, so please make sure to share your stories with the team to help inspire both our current and future contributors to Fedora. Um, and so with that, I do want to, um, the next thing I want to share is, is a little difficult to share, but um, I really want to make some space for this topic too. Uh, so for many years, there has been a, a Fedora contributor. Uh, her name is Dr. Mel Chua. And she has quite literally been one of the faces of friends in the Fedora project. On the Fedora Docs website, on the page that describes the entire Fedora project, there is a photo under the Friends Foundation section. And these four faces are the literal stock photo of what we mean when we talk about the Friends Foundation and Fedora. And for a long time, I thought it was about time that we update the photo to something more recent but the photo was always a really good picture of a fedora moment and you know why fix what isn't broken but today this photo brings us a beautiful memory of a very formative community biologist of the fedora project dr malchua who traveled through wiki pages spanned out over irc channels triaged lesions of track git repositories and so much more this month, Mel entered hospice care after a year's long battle with cancer. The QR code on the screen leads to a crowdfunding campaign for her medical expenses, as well as the backstory to her situation. Speaking as the Fedora Project, we are devastated to learn this news. Mel has always been a Fedoran, almost as much of a Fedoran as someone could be. The Four Foundations feels fitting for someone who has advocated for the values of free and open source software and culture, blazed a path forward early in Fedora and open source history, and most importantly, will leave behind a legacy of compassion, kindness, and inclusion with the things that she touched. On the Fedora Docs website, this is what we write under the Friends Foundation on the project page. The Fedora community is made up of people from all walks of life, working together to advance free software. There is a place in Fedora for anyone who wants to help, regardless of technical skill level, as long as they believe in our core values. When I hear this, it is hard for me not to think of Mel. So I'm asking for anyone else who has stories or memories with Mel to please share them in this form as soon as possible. Fedora will publish a community blog post to honor her legacy and memory with excerpts of stories from the people with whom she worked together with in Fedora. All stories are welcome, both short and long. I'd just like to take a moment of silence for a few seconds to honor Dr. Melchua. Thank you. So uh, do if you do you have something you'd like to share, please make sure you submit it through this form as soon as possible. I'm hoping that we can get a, a draft or article ready in the next week or so. So I know that was can be difficult, but we do have a few more things before we officially wrap up and transition over to our first speaker of the day. Uh, it's not too late also to bring your friends along to the release party. Of course, they can watch along together with us on our YouTube channel. I assume many people probably are already, but they can still get insider access to the event chat and participate in Q&A by registering on Pretix. Pretix registrations are periodically invited to the matrix room and registering on Pretix is free and helps us provide the best possible experience to our attendees. So if you're watching live and you have not registered, now is a great time to go and register. Uh, do note that we do ask for a matrix ID during registration since the event is primarily hosted from matrix. And one final shout out, we have had a long time trusted partner for producing high quality Fedora apparel and clothing. 
HelloTux is a small business in Hungary dedicated to producing Linux branded apparel from all your favorite distros in your upstream projects. We partnered with HelloTux to provide high quality embroidered Fedora t-shirts, Fedora polo shirts, Fedora sweatshirts, and more. You can check out their web store at the QR code here. And listen carefully to this insider tip. Use the coupon code Fedora5, that's the number five, for a 5% discount on any Fedora item. That backpack looks really nice. I think I need to pick that up. It does. That's their newest item. I have been thinking the same thing. Capitalist, Justin, or smaller? I don't know. I, I look at their website. I think it's all capitals, but... Um, it is, but it might not matter. Um, uh, the QR code in either case will take you to the right place where you'll see all of these items and more. So with that, I know we are just pushing a little bit past our time. I do want to get our next speaker up here soon. But Matthew, do you want to close us out for the yeah. open remarks? I also I want I want to thank all of the Red Hatters who are here on uh, what turned out to be a company wide day off. Um, so uh, that's uh, for some people, Fedora is their day job, and uh, I'm glad to see that people are. It's it's not just a day job for for most of us. I think that so it's uh, nice to see that. Um, sorry though, we'll try we'll try and put it during work hours next time for the for. for for the red hatters um do you but see again, some folks who are off maybe one day next week you might guess you might be able to figure out why <laughs> right yeah um and yeah um again welcome everybody thank you thank you justin for um you know, leading this little session here and putting the slides together uh and all the things you did to get this going on matrix and again welcome everybody let's have a great party So that is going to conclude our opening remarks. Thank you, Matthew and Aoife. I'm going to go ahead.